What's good, y'all boys? It's your boy, Chef King, Chef Shalom, back in the building. Hey, real quick, man, I want to just let y'all boys know that this video was sponsored by my business, the Chef Soul Glow. Yo, maximize your best glow with the Chef Soul Glow. Glow packs available at the Chef Soul Glow and the ChefSoulGlow.com. Use on beards, waves, natural hair, and skin. But yeah, man, link will be in the description or in the bio so y'all boys can go over there and maximize y'all best glow. You know what I mean? Y'all boys enjoy this video. Shalom. <laughs> What's good, y'all boys? It's your boy, Chef King, Chef Shalom, back in the building. All praise to the most out for another day. Hopefully, you brothers been out there grinding, you know what I mean, handling business, doing what we supposed to do every day. But, hey, let me rap with y'all boys real quick, man. All right, so, you know, I see a lot of brothers go through these things. I've went through this personally one time in my life before, and, and, and that's kind of all it took. But uh, I'm going to talk to y'all boys about how to get over breakups and how to deal with heartbreak bro all right so we're gonna start in the beginning so growing up bro a lot of a lot of us brothers was taught how to treat a woman but not how to understand them you know what i mean so that kind of left room for us to be bumping our heads with these relationships because we're trying to do what we're taught to do to to keep the woman that you know to quote unquote keep the woman or to treat the woman but we don't understand why they do the things they do or understand them enough to see if this is a, even a woman that we need to be dealing with and then in regards to women a lot of women will talk to what what they can get out of a man in, instead of you know understanding the man himself and trying to see like okay this is what he's doing because this is what he's supposed to do and you know this is how you should be acting it and the relationship should go a certain kind of way it doesn't it's not really like that you more times than not yes it is some successful relationships successful marriages but we're not talking about y'all boys today we talking about the ones that don't work because it's a lot of brothers going in here with the wrong mindset set excuse me first and foremost stop falling in love with these girls because of the way they look Stop falling in love with the way they look, bro. I'm going to be real with y'all. You know, it's some fine-ass women out here, dog. Some, I'm talking about some fine-ass women. But with that being said, that doesn't mean, one, you need to be trying to holler at them or thinking that this is the woman that you're going to sweep off her feet and y'all going to ride off into the sunset, bro. No, you know what I mean? Only deal with women that like you. I've told y'all that, I told you brothers that before, and we gotta stand on that. You only deal with women who really like you and make them show how they like you, dawg. Stop going off of this whole, oh, well, she says she like me, or, you know, you over here picking rose petals, she loves me, she loves me not. No, we cutting all that out. This ain't no damn fairy tale. this ain't no damn movie, bro. You make these women show why they like you, you feel me? Um, You get to know these women, dawg. You get to know them. So when you get to know them, you, like I said previously, you, you're you able to understand, okay, if this woman is some woman that I want to deal with, it don't matter how fine she is, bro. If she's not fitting into your life, then it, it ain't going to work, bro. As bad as you might want it to work, as bad as you might think she's so fine, you want to clap the cheeks or you want to have a baby with her and all that, no. You know what I mean? You have you some standards. And as a man, that's why I tell y'all, brothers, you know, Work on yourself, build your life up, get your connection with the most high better. So then you'll have your set of standards. So no matter how fine she is, she come walking by your kingdom. She say, hey, king. you like, yo, what's good? You feel me? Can I come in your castle? Here's the list of standards and rules that I, I hold my women accountable for. I hold them to this standard right here. Are you able to, if, you, if you're able to handle this, or if this is you, if you fit this description, you know, come in, we can have a conversation. If not, just keep that shit sliding. And that's how y'all boys gotta be, bro. We get too caught up on the, oh man, this the finest girl I ever been with, bro. You show your homeboys, you're like, hey, bro, check this chick out, bro. I bad to bro, I bad to. Okay. And, you know what I mean? We're not going off of looks. We're not in school no more. Because going off of looks, is, it, it really might have you out here looking bad. So, another thing, y'all boys, stop getting so emotionally caught up on these women, especially too fast. You know, everything seems good in the beginning. One, you don't even know everything about each other in the beginning, so you're able to be whatever person you want to be, ideally. That's how relationships are nowadays, you know? 
that people are not keeping it 100 with each other. So it's like, you know, you're able to be this certain kind of guy and you're able to be, she's able to be this certain kind of woman, not even showing that this is truly how y'all, you know, the, the true essence of how y'all are, you know? So y'all are building a relationship off of a lie. You feel me? Stop falling for that shit. Stop getting so caught up, man. Get to know these women, bro. If they say they do certain things, if they say they're a certain kind of way or this, they're this good woman, make them stand on that shit. Make them stand on that so that you don't have yourself caught up on a woman that don't even really exist. Because if you caught up on a woman and she's not really being her true self, the woman that you caught up on ain't even real. You know what I mean? You got to think about that, bro. If I'm falling for a chick and she and and she's really a harlot, you feel me? And this ain't no knock on no women, so don't be in my comments or hitting me up crying about, oh, you dissing women. No, because there's some women out here who are harlots. There's some women who aren't. We talking about the ones that are. She might be a harlot, but she putting on this good girl persona, right? Just to kind of get you to fall for it. And you over here falling for it. Like, oh, man, I got me a good girl. She, she said she do this and that. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. And then... Over time, she starts to really reveal who, how she really is. And you're like, damn, you wasn't like this at the beginning. Now you caught up on a woman who ain't even real because you fell in love with the chick that she was portraying to be and not the chick that she really is. So you out here dating nobody. You feel me? Y'all brothers got to stop doing that. Stop falling for these sweet words. Stop falling for these sweet nuts. I shouldn't have to tell y'all boys this, but it happens. So I'm going to rap with y'all. You know, stop falling for that shit we have to be disciplined we have to be able to understand okay yes this is an attractive woman i've been building my life up you know so of course attractive women are going to be coming my way you know act like you've been here before what your coach used to always tell you act like you've been here before don't be acting like oh well we in the championship game we horse playing around we clowning around we not focused stay on your focus no matter what the mission is in life dog when you stay on your focus, you cannot get knocked off. It takes more than just a pretty face, a big butt, and a smile to knock you off your pivot. Y'all boys got to remember that. These things that I'm naming, if you do these things, it will prevent you from getting your heart broken. It, it will prevent you from getting your heart broken, dog. It really will. What to do after a breakup. This is like a two-part video. What to do after a breakup, dog. Get your ass in the gym. For real. If you ain't already working out, get your ass in the gym. And none of these things I'm about to name in regards to doing after a breakup is to get back at her or have some kind of revenge on some like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to show her. Nah, you you let that, you, you let the thought of or your, 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 your feelings that you had when you got your heart broken, you can let that fuel you, you know what I mean? Grind in the gym, transform on, on these motherfuckers out here, bro. Excuse my language, but... Don't have a rage. You know, a lot of brothers, they get their heart broken. They go through a rage. They want to slaughter a bunch of women. They want to bash the women. They want to just do, they want to be unruly to the women. You know what I mean? Now, I, I, I'm all for holding these women accountable. But one thing we not going to do, bro, we not finna be over here just red. We, we not finna be over here just raging, bro. Just going through slaughterhouse and you just doing whatever you want to do because your heart got broke. We don't, we don't act like that. You keep your composure as a man and you handle your business as a man. So, like I was saying, going to gym, get in the gym, bro. All that stress, that frustration, take it out on the weights, bro. You could beat them weights up all day. You could beat them weights up all night. One thing about it, them weights ain't gonna scream. Them weights gonna, they still gonna be there. You, you beat the, you beat the hell out them weights. You work out, bro. You grind. You know, get your relationship with the Most High even better. Okay, the Father. You know what I mean? I was blinded by the beauty. I might have been blinded by my lust. You feel me? Things didn't work out. Thank you for showing me that first and foremost. Give, I'm give the Most High praises for showing you that. No matter how the, 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 the no excuse me, no matter how the dynamic was when you and her split, you know, in regards to how severe it was, if you got your heart broken or if she left on some smoothness, it is what it is, bro. Thank the most high that it ended. Do what you need to do and grow. You feel me? Another thing I want to add. If she's if she wants to leave, bro, let her leave. Stop getting caught up on people or stop getting caught up on women who want to leave. If she doesn't want to be with you, she don't want to be with you, period. Let's stop trying to handcuff these girls. Let's stop trying to hold them hostage at gunpoint. 
You gonna be with me, and I'm be, it's, a, it's only gonna be me and you. You know what other man's gonna have you, bro? Cut that shit out, bro. Cut it out, dog. If these women wanna leave, bro, let her leave. Stop, why you handcuffing? It, it is what it is, bro. That's clear, that's a clear sign that with her leaving, she does not want to be with you, it's not going to work. So stop trying to make things work. Baby, I change. You, you want me to act more softer to you? You want me to be more sweeter to you? Bro, if she does not want to be with you, she's already made up in her mind, I don't want to be with this man. I am about to leave. Let her go. It will be, it, it'll, It'll save you a lot of time. It'll save you a lot of tears, a lot of pain if you just let her go. Let her go. Yeah, you know, you might have had your feelings involved. Yeah, she probably did the thing that you like. And, and she was she was doing all the things in bed that you like that got you all caught up and foggy in the head and all that. It is It, it be like that sometimes. But you have to understand, if any given moment she wakes up, you could have been done did everything right that she asks of you. And then she wake up the next day and say, you know what, Chef? I don't want to be with you no more. I'm about to leave. Let her go, bro. Just, just let her go, bro. It is what it is, bro. Just let her go and start moving on with your life. I ain't saying you let her go and then you call another one like, hey, come by, come through, whatever, whatever, we'll do. No. If she want to leave, all right, cool. Let me continue to grow my life. Let me continue to, to level up, bro. Why that shit shouldn't stop. All right. I just want to get that off real quick. What I said, uh, get in the gym. Get your relationship with the most high better. Get to the bag, bro. These are the things. These are the things I'm always telling y'all, brother. So after a relationship, just the same, same song, different verse, bro. We still doing the same thing. Get your bag up, bro. You know what I mean? If you were struggling while you was with her, you know, that should be more of a reason for you to get your bag up so the next relationship you in, you're not struggling. If you stand with your people while you was with her, come on, bro. You want to get in another relationship and you still stand with your people? You ain't got no car. You want to get in another relationship you still ain't got your car? No car? You know what I mean? You ain't got no job. You want to get in another relationship and you ain't got no job, bro? Get your life together, dog. Get your life together. These are the things that you do after a breakup. For sure. These are the things you do regardless, but for the topic, like I said, these are the things you do after a breakup, dog. Y'all boys, I got love for y'all. I done been heartbroken before. You know, you it happened. You know, it didn't turn me into no savage to the point that, like, well, I ain't gonna say, it ain't turned me into a rager to the point that it's like, oh, I'm just like, F these women and women ain't shit and this, that. I'm not like that, bro. I'm not like that. I understand them now. You feel me? Because... It's a difference between love, being in love and understanding women. When you understand women, it, you're, you're, to be honest with you, your relationship goes a lot different. My previous relationship, I understood women. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, had, it was good until it wasn't good no more. And then once she was like, she want to leave, I didn't handcuff her. I let her go. It, it is what it is. Have fun with you. Got love for you. Love you. Give her a kiss and then you keep it pushing. It is, it is what it is, you know? But the relationship before that, yes, I was in love. So I had that heartbreak. I had that damn, like, I want to be with her. I thought we was going to be together forever. I used that and I allowed that to push me even further in life to get better on every, every, every foundation, every base that I was touching in my life. Everything that I was doing, I allowed that to push me even further next level level up level up level up and then and when i get into another relationship once i'm getting more established same thing i understand these women now so the relationship is handled differently when you understand them compared to when you're just doing what you were taught in regards to how to treat them and how to keep them and love them and sweep them off their feet and be prince charming that shit not real y'all boys and i'm tired of y'all going through that if you watching this video bro that prince charming shit is not real wake up this your boy king chef shalom all praise to the most high if the message applies to you you charge it to the game if it don't you keep it pushing you know make sure you like the video if you like it hit me up in the comments hit me up in my uh inbox on social media king chef shalom is my social media handle hit me up bro i will definitely chop it up with y'all brothers you know ain't don't don't feel embarrassed or nothing like that because 
I just want everybody. I want my bros to eat, bro. I want my bro, my bros to be great, bro. We we got to be walking around this thing like kings, bro. We can't be out here acting like no peasants. We can't be getting treated like no fans, bro. We the superstars, and I need y'all to remember that. Like I said before, all praise to the Most High. Shalom, y'all boys.